We've got the sun, the earth, and the moon. The moon goes around the earth, the earth goes around the sun. Now, even though we usually think of them as all going around each other, space is three-dimensional. So that means that the path that the moon takes around the earth does not quite line up with the path that the earth takes around the sun. So earth goes around the sun like this, moon goes around the sun slightly tilted. That means that it's unusual for the moon and the earth and the sun to actually line up, but it does happen. And it can do one of two things. If it's lined up sun, earth, moon, then that's a lunar eclipse. On the other hand, if it's the moon is between the earth and the sun, that's now a solar eclipse. The shadow from the moon is cast on the earth. The total solar eclipse will basically be in a line that in the continental United States starts at the bottom corner of Texas and goes up through the top line of Maine. Viewing wise, a total solar eclipse is qualitatively different than, than seeing even a large partial. Because even for a large partial, you can still see the sun. The sun is out and you can't look directly at it because that will damage your eye. We have ways that you can view it. You can have those solar shades which block out the vast majority of the light, make it dim enough for you to see. There are indirect viewers which you can see the shadow of the sun and see that. But with a total solar eclipse, the moon has completely blocked out the, the photosphere. That's the part of the sun that produces most of the bright light. But that's not the only part that does produce light. There is another part, a much larger part, called the corona, which is basically the sun's atmosphere, which is so hot that it glows, but it's normally drowned out by the sun. Again, if you look directly at the sun, you would not see the corona. You would see sun and then you would not see anything at all because it damages your eyes. But when there is a total solar eclipse, when the moon is blocking the photosphere and you can see the crown, like that's what you see. Just looking at it, you can see it is some kind of crown of some divine being. And it's different for every time because the sun's atmosphere is strongly affected by the sun's magnetic field. If you want to see the eclipse, there are two, there are two ways you can do it, directly and indirectly. Directly means looking at the sun. Do not look directly at the sun with your eyes. Instead, get something like this, a pair of eclipse glasses. You put them over and right now I can't see anything because the sun's not out and these block so much light that the sun is the only thing that you could see with them. There's a lot of bad advice on, oh, if you just use two, two pairs of sunglasses, no, don't. Use something that is designed to, to make it safe to look at the sun. Now, indirect viewing, there are, a, there are actually a lot of ways you can do that. Actually, the simplest way, take fingers, make a hole, and then look at the shadow of the hole. Anything that creates a natural pinhole will create a shadow that looks like the sun. Now you can also do this more deliberately if you take a pair of cards, cut a small hole in one, and then cover it with aluminum foil and just put a, like a literal, use a pin to poke a tiny hole in it. Then when the time comes, hold this one out so that the sun is shining down on it. Use the other one to catch the shadow. And again, the shadow of the sun will appear as the, as the sun is. If you have kids and you want to do some kind of arts and crafts beforehand, you can make something like this. So this is kind of the same idea. We've got a pinhole in the back. We've got a hole cut in the side. Uh, when it comes time to, to view it, hold it so that this pinhole is pointed towards the sun. Look in this side and you will see an image of the sun projected on the back side. If you're lucky enough to have uh, travel to go to where the totality is, look it up. It will, it will vary from region to region. So if it says totality will last three minutes and 40 seconds, you'll take, before it starts, take your phone, set a timer for three minutes, 35 seconds. You're watching the sun through your solar glasses. As soon as that last bit of the photosphere is blocked off, start the timer. Take off your glasses, gaze in awe at the corona. When, the when that timer goes off, put the glasses back on immediately. 